When is the best time to conduct a business continuity or crisis management exercise? I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. I've talked before about the idea of the Kobayashi Maru type of exercise. If you're not familiar with Star Trek, Kobayashi Maru was the no-win scenario. It formed the basis of the part of the plot of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, uh, the classic Star Trek movie from the 1980s, where Captain Kirk uh, explains the no-win scenario. And actually, the movie opens with Starfleet Academy and the no-win scenario, where um, Lieutenant Savick, acting as the captain of the Enterprise, is uh, basically confronted with a scenario in which, as a captain, she can't win. Uh, and her crew is going to be killed in the process. And the purpose of this is essentially a character test. What do you do when you can't win? So when you're thinking about crisis management and business continuity exercises, I've talked before about the fact that you don't want the Kobayashi Maru scenario. You need your team, you need your team to be able to win in the exercise. There has to be a way through the slog of the things that you're confronted with to get to some sort of a sense of victory at the end of this exercise. The right time to make sure, the right time to conduct rather a, a crisis management or business kind of exercise is after you first have a plan in place. You've established the plan. The plan is well understood. You have explained the plan and trained the team on how to use the plan, which means you've conducted training. The team knows how to obtain a copy of the plan. They're familiar with their roles and responsibilities in the plan, and they're able to successfully execute that. And then it's time to do an exercise. But the exercise you want to conduct, the exercise you want to start with, is a confidence-building exercise. It's a simple facilitated tabletop. It's almost like a walkthrough of the plan where you're helping everyone be comfortable with their roles and responsibilities in the plan. You're introducing the structure of how you want that business continuity plan to be executed or your crisis management plan to be executed. You're leaving folks with a stronger sense of confidence in the plan, in their roles and responsibilities. What you don't want to do out of the gate is give them an exercise that it is impossible for them to win, that they leave the exercise not feeling good about the program and their role in it. This is a mistake that I think a lot of continuity and crisis management professionals make. They make the exercise into a test. And guess what? It's never a test. It shouldn't ever be a test. If you're thinking about an exercise in this type of exercise as a test, you are thinking about this in the wrong way. And you will be the reason that you don't gain support for your program, that folks are like, wow, it's just too damn complicated. These exercises are a waste of time. You need to build your exercise approach in a way where folks, you, you're establishing the plan, you're training the team to the plan, you do a confidence building tabletop that leaves them feeling good about their roles and a better understanding of their roles and responsibilities and some sense of confidence that they're going to be able to do what you need them to do in a crisis. And then over time in your exercise strategy, you build on those building blocks that you established with good plan, good training, good confidence building exercise, then start to layer on the complexity, then start to make it harder. And through that, you will grow and mature and learn from those processes and have a more effective exercise strategy that will lead to a stronger plan, to more confident members of your team, and a more resilient organization over time. Don't do the Kobayashi Maru type of exercise. That's it for this edition of our weekly video. We'll be back next week with new insights and a new video. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.